Hi, I'm Lynn Clark and I'm a master's student at Derry Galway and today I'm going to show you how to create a content type in Drupal 7. But first I want to talk a little bit about what exactly a content type is. So on your um, average site there are multiple kinds of pages. For instance on a company site you would have some uh, team profile pages. So on a team profile page you would have things like the team members uh, position, the address, um, maybe a fax number, an email address, um, some different kinds of information about the person. But if you also had, say, events on the same site, that would have different information. You wouldn't have an email address or a position for the event, but you would have a venue, a date of the event, and you know, a website. So uh, these, these two different pages, these two different types of content have different types of information. So that's what in Drupal language, that's what a, a content type is. It's two different kinds of pages. And in Drupal 7, it's really, really easy to create new kinds of content types. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. First, I'm going to go ahead and open my site. And here's the site. Um, I can go to the structure pane and access my content types. And I have two content types right now, a basic page and an article. Those are the default content types that are installed when you use the standard install profile. But I want to add a new content type. So I'm going to create a publication content type. A lot of people that work at universities like to have their publications on their web pages with a little bit of information about the publication. So I'm going to go ahead and create one of those. So I type a title in here, and this was what be, would be used in the user interface. But it also came up with a machine name to the side here. And that's what's used by the system when it's, you, when it's uh, creating this content type in the system. And if I wanted to create a module that could alter any publications I put in, I would use this machine name. I can add a description. This would go in the user interface. Um, so I could put something for any content editors that are working on the site that says what this content type is. And I could change the title field label. Uh, I don't think I'm going to because title works. But I'm going to change the body field label because abstract seems to be more appropriate for a publication. And I'm going to leave this preview before submitting optional. Um, I could require it so that anytime somebody was saving a, con uh, a piece of publication content that they had to preview it before it actually got published to the site. And I also have some other settings that I can set for this content type over here in the vertical tabs here. So there's some publishing options. I could say that I want these by default, I want any publications not to be published when you save them. Uh, or I could say that I want them to uh, have a new revision so that anytime somebody changed something and saved it, um, the old version was also saved and you could revert to it. Uh, there's some display settings, like you can display the author and date information or not. Um, I think I'm not going to. Comment settings, I don't think I want people to be able to comment on my publication, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And there's some other commenting settings here. And menu settings, I can set it so that anytime I submit one of these pieces of content, it goes under a particular menu. So I've created a publications menu item in my main menu, and I'm going to put all my publications under that menu item. And I'm going to go ahead and save that content type. And here it is. We have this very basic publication content type where we can add the title and the abstract. But we'll want to actually customize it so we can add more different kinds of publication information. Um, something like maybe the publication it was published in, or the issue number, or add a file so that somebody can actually download a PDF of this publication. So what we're going to do is go to Manage Fields, because each of those pieces of information is called a field. So first we'll add a publication name field, and this would be the publication that this was published in. And this is going to be a text field because we just have um, a basic text title. Um, there are a bunch of different types of fields you can use. Uh, there are also a bunch of different types of fields that you can download as modules. 
um, and plug in here. So for instance, if you wanted to have a link to this publication, instead of just the textual name, you could download the link module and it would provide a field that gave you um, a output a link. And you can set a maximum length. 255 characters sounds good to me. So I'm going to save this field. And this gives you some of the options. You could say that this is a required field. Um, you can give some options for the user interface so that the size of the box um, is different. Um, and you can also give a number of values. For instance, if I wanted to say that this could have shown up in multiple publications, I could say unlimited, and then somebody could add different values for this field. So I'm going to save those settings. So once I saved that field, it brought me back to this um, main edit screen for this content type. I just want to go to the manage fields again so that I can add a new field. And this time I'm going to add a file upload field so that I can upload, say, a PDF version of this document. Somebody could come and download it when they're looking at the abstract. So. I'm going to go ahead and select the file field type and save that. So I have a couple of options uh, that are directly related to this file field. One that I want to talk about is the upload destination. Um, you can make your files private files so that only those who are logged into the site can actually download them. I usually use public files unless I have a really good reason not to. I'm going to go ahead and save these field settings. and. What I want to do here is change the allowed file extensions um, because if I went ahead and saved this without adding PDF or DOCX or DOC, anytime I tried to upload those file extensions, I would get an error. So I'm going to go ahead and add the usual suspects for document file extensions. I could change, I could give it a, its own file directory, say publications. And then all my files will go into it, their own publications folder. I could set a maximum upload size, but upload size, but I'm not going to. Um, and this progress indicator just shows uh, um, when the person is um, uploading the file, um, which is good if, if somebody wants to keep track of how much of their upload has been uploaded so far. And once again, I could say that there's an unlimited number of values. I think I'm just going to stick with uh, one value here. And I'm going to save the settings. So now I have these custom fields on my publication content type. I'm going to go ahead and add some instances of this content type, Some add some publication content. Uh, I'm going to click Add Content and Publication. I'm going to add some content in here. I'm going to browse for my file and upload it. And now I'm going to save my publication. And you see here is my new content. I could download my publication by clicking on this link. And I have my publication name. But I might not actually want to have them in this order or have these labels in front of them. So what I'm going to do is go to Back to Structure, Content Types, Publication. I'm going to Manage Fields. And I'm actually going to put the publication name ahead of the abstract. I'm going to go to Manage Display. And I don't want this label, so I'm going to have it hidden, and I don't want the file download label, so I'm going to hide those two. And I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to close out. And here we go. We um, have the publication title ahead of the abstract, 
and we have taken out those labels. So that's it. That's how easy it is to create custom content types with custom fields in Drupal 7.